Hey guys, I got some interesting stuff that I wanna share with you today. It's this new product called K-Cycles. And for those of you that don't know, K-Cycles is a custom version of Blender that renders two to four times faster in cycles. It's just amazing. In fact, I'm gonna show you here in just a second, but just so you know, uh, Eric Klein, the author behind K-Cycles is a guy I've known for a number of years now, and he is the smartest and most talented interior rendering guy I know. And as most of you know, interior rendering is really where cycles shines the most. I've actually created this kind of very simple scene and I'm gonna show you why Cycles is important here rather than Eevee. And many of you also may know that I use Eevee almost for everything. But if I go into Eevee here, you'll see that even though I've got irradiance volumes and reflection maps and I've baked them as well, here I'm showing you I'm baking them again, we're still not getting the kind of bounces that uh, we would like inside this room. And we're certainly not getting a lot of the color bleed. We're getting a little bit, but not enough to really make a big difference. Now, there are some ways to fake it in Eevee, and that's not the purpose of this video. One of the things about Cycles that's so great is that you just turn it on and you press render. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's show you what we have. We have Cycles here, and I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of Cycles uh, and K-Cycles. And this is K-Cycles, as you can see the K up here. And, and Now, just so you know, people like Master Zeon and myself and Greasy Bear and others have been testing this product for probably a month now, maybe a little more. And we're throwing different add-ons and, and everything else, and it seems to work perfect. There's no real complexity to it other than the fact that what you want to make sure you do when you set it up is turn off adaptive sampling. And you can leave your optics on and your viewport as automatic. You're rendering, you're denoising, and that's about it. And so let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and with this scene, which is kind of a difficult scene to render well, I've got it set to 256 samples because there's going to be a lot of blotching going on around here, you know, around here. So I'm going to hit the F12 button and I'm going to render this scene in K cycles. So here we are with the finished render and it's uh, 28 and a half seconds. And you can see it's incredibly clean and crisp. It does some things that, of course, Eevee would have a hard time doing. That is this glass and rendering the actual shadow of the ball through the glass. And, of course, the mirror is perfect uh, here and all of that. So let's go into regular 9.2 Blender. And I should mention while I'm here is that what Eric has been doing is every time there is a new master build, and that means alphas and betas, he's revving a new version of K-Cycles. And when he does that, it's available immediately for download. So that's pretty cool as well. Just so you know that if you like being on the cutting edge of what Blender's doing, you can do it with K-Cycles as well. So let's kind of look at this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this on and let it kind of res out. And you can see we have the same exact settings over here. And if I hit the F12 button and render it, let's let this play out. And there you have it. And you can see the image, the images look pretty much the same, but here we've spent 44 seconds. And so this is almost twice as long as the original. And that's just a very simple scene. Let's try one more. Okay, so here what I've done is I've taken the scene, I've added this box and I've given it a principled volume volumetric shader. And so if we go into our render here, you'll see that we've got this light rays coming through the window and lighting the scene. And so with these light rays showing through the window, let's go ahead and give this a quick render. So this was done now in under a minute, 56 seconds even. So we'll go on back to the regular blender and here we have the same volumetric light. And so let's go ahead and render this. Okay, and here we are back and this one took a minute 30. So that was 50% longer than K-Cycles, and that's K-Cycles at its highest quality. Let's take a look at one more scene, and we're gonna look at some materials, and with these materials that I'm gonna apply, we'll be able to use K-Cycles at even a faster quality. Okay, so here we are with uh, a new scene that I've set up. I've upped the uh, volumetric just a little bit, and I've added some textures to the wall, and I've changed this K-Cycles mode from the default highest quality to fast with presets. So let's take a look and see how long this thing takes to render. Okay, so in fast mode, this took 55 seconds to render in K-Cycles. So let's jump on over to regular cycle. Here we are, and let's go ahead and hit the F12 key and see how long it takes to render this. Okay, so this one has rendered in two minutes and 33 seconds. So K-Cycles was able to render this over twice as fast as the other. And let's look at the difference between the images. Here is regular Blender. Look at the icon on the top left. And here is K-Cycles. So toggle back and forth, and you can see 
hardly any difference at all. Very little difference. So that's just an amazing increase. The other thing is that you may be wondering, what about e-cycles? Well, there's a couple things that I have found about K-cycles. One is that according to the charts and the renders of some of the main basic blender scenes, K-cycles is a tiny bit faster than e-cycles. Furthermore, it's way, way cheaper at $49. I think e-cycles is somewhere around $300 for my card. I have a 2080 Ti, so uh, it's a big, big difference there. And another thing about K-Cycles is it's super, super easy to set up and use. It's basically like you're just using another version of Blender with a few different presets. Now, I do know Eric is going to be doing some pretty cool things like adding Bloom into the viewport in Cycles, which will be great, as well as hopefully he'll be able to add a reflection catcher. So once that happens, it really turns K-Cycles into something like a Keyshot competitor at a great, great value. So that's it on K-Cycles. I have an affiliate link in the description below, and if you click on it, it would be appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all online.